open at the 30-yard line. It's Kings. The shake move for six. Good race for the end zone, and Langford wins it. Langford not only wins that, he also wins the Big Ten Offensive Player on the Week. We're going to talk to his offensive coordinator in a second. On defense, Penn State's C.J. Olanian gets it, thanks to two and a half sacks. Mike Sadler on special teams from Michigan State. And freshman Christian Hackenberg with the game winner, four touchdowns total and more than 300 passing yards. Well, with that in mind, let's bring in Dave Warner now, the Michigan State co-offensive coordinator. His team's responsible for 42 points this past Saturday. Dave, why has the offense been getting better the last couple of weeks? Well, I think uh, as you look, we started off uh, obviously a little bit slow. We were trying to break some guys in some new positions. And uh, uh, I think it, mostly it's because of experience. I think our, we've settled in on a quarterback, obviously. we got some receivers that are starting to step up now. And, and make plays where Coach uh, D'Antonio calls those 50-50 catches. Right? we got receivers that are making those catches now more often than not. So um, our running game has been fairly consistent throughout, so I think it's just a matter of everything coming together right now. You mentioned the running game. Jeremy Langford specifically, how has he grown over the course of this season? He's, uh, he's come a long way. You know, uh, he's a guy that really uh, played a lot of different positions. He was at uh, cornerback for a while, a uh, wide receiver for a while and really is just starting to settle in now. Um, I think he's one of those guys that provides us a little bit of power. He's not uh, overly big, but you know, he's 205 pounds and uh, he can run with a little bit of power and run through some people. Uh, at the same time, he, got, he has some speed, which uh, uh, we finally were able to break him free this past Saturday and he showed a little bit of that once he got into the secondary. So he continues to grow and we hope he continues to grow as we go through the season. Dave, you mentioned the lack of experience on offense. And as you try to put this offense together last spring during two day practices this summer, you have to go against the Spartan defense, <laughs> one of the best defenses in the country. What challenges does that present? Well, I mean, that was probably the biggest challenge because it's, uh, it's hard to evaluate uh, just where we are and what type of progress we're making when we are going against a talented defense. And, uh, and, uh, you know, I mean, our secondary, we, we got some lockdown corners that really make it hard. And sometimes our, our receivers who are, we think are good receivers, they weren't really able to shake free and show what they can do. So it's been a trial for us the whole way, long, whole way through. But, uh, you know, I think we're making progress now. And, uh, again, I hope that uh, continues here through the rest of the season. Coach, with the progress you've been making from an offensive standpoint, what are some of the next steps that you guys need to make to you you really have in your mind arrived as the total offense that you can be? Well, as we evaluate what we did on Saturday, you know, we felt like we, we took a step in the right direction. We felt like we were, uh, you know, balanced offense. But as you look at maybe six, eight plays throughout the course of the game, uh, you know, we want to make sure that we're finishing downfield, finishing our blocks whether that be at the offensive line position, at the wide receiver position, wherever, because there are cases where if we're just making a block downfield, which, which we should be able to make and execute, we're turning 10-yard you know, gains, 12-yard gains into possibly big plays, 40, 50-yard plays, and possibly some touchdowns. So we're looking, we want to be, I told the players last night, we want to be a little bit uh, greedy and not be satisfied with where we're at. Uh, we'd like to get those plays that, uh, you know, again, are, are, are big plays for us. We want to make them explosive plays and get in the end zone. Dave Warner, the Spartan co-offensive coordinator, joining us now. You know, it was really only just a handful of weeks ago that there were still four quarterbacks competing for this job. What is different about Connor Cook? What do you see in him now that maybe you didn't see in mid-August? Well, I think there's no doubt there's, there's a higher level of confidence uh, there's a higher level, level of leadership as he's sort of grown into the position and, and understood that he's the guy. I think he's sort of taken over in the huddle and on the field right there, uh, you know, making adjustments and being the leader in the huddle. I think, I think that's been very obvious. And then it's reflected in his play also. Yeah, I think he's very confident right now. He feels like, uh, you know, he's making the throws that he needs to make. And uh, uh, certainly there's still room there for improvement. But, but I think he feels good about where he's at right now and, and uh, understanding our offense and executing it. Dave, in every profession, you have to earn your stripes. But, um, <clears throat> man, did you earn your stripes. I'm told that at previous jobs, you had to call plays for a Glenn Mason offense. <laughs> what was that like? Yeah. 
Hey, I, I got I got to give Coach all the credit there because he uh, he did not have the headsets on a whole lot, you know. So uh, it was it was sort of it was sort of free reign when I was calling plays. It was uh, you know I'd hear about it after I screwed up maybe when he put the headsets on, but it wasn't like right now if I screw something up I get immediate feedback from Coach D'Antonio. But uh, no, Mace was great to work for, and uh, it was uh, it was a great uh, ten years of my life out there in Lawrence. Well, starting off in uh, Kent State and then in Lawrence, Kansas. So with ten years, <laughs> I'm sure you have maybe one story you'd like to. <laughs> Share with us. So please indulge us. Well, we'll we'll do that. We'll do that some other time. No, we'll, way! Do now. we'll do it now. <laughs> I don't blame you, Coach. I don't blame you. Dave Warner, the co-offensive coordinator for the Spartans. Thanks for the time. And when the season's done, we want you on to tell that story. <laughs> oh, there you go. I'm, I'll be ready. I'll be thinking about it. All right. Thanks, Coach. <laughs> okay. Thank you, guys.